uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a uh, an image view randomizer. So this is going to randomize images. I'm mainly bringing you this tutorial, not because it's essentially different, but I haven't seen any other tutorials on it. So I thought I'd bring that to you guys. At least one person is going to be looking for this. So if you're that one person, well, uh, here you go. Anyways, I'm just going to. I already pre-generated a project because I don't like the way Xcode 4 makes projects. So I'm going to open this with Xcode. Uh, base. I don't like the way Xcode 4 generates projects. I like the way Xcode 3 uh, generates projects. So I just pre-generated one, but I'm using Xcode 4 because that's probably what you're using. Anyways, uh, let's open all our uh, resources and stuff. And I have I have four pictures. So. I have, as you can see, I have got four pictures right here. All of them are uh, Minecraft blocks. Didn't really know what else to get, but I got those. And all you're gonna want to do is um, drag them to your resources. And you don't have to, you don't have to copy these into your group folder if you don't want to. Basically, what that's doing is it's it's taking these these pictures right here and copying copying into this folder right here. You don't have to do that, but I am because I'm going to delete them off the desktop after this. So, all right, we've got them in our uh, file directory. Now we're going to go into our .h and declare one. Here, let me zoom in for you guys. IB outlet UI image view. And then we, I'm just going to name it anything. I'm just going to name it block. And not capital. Colon. And then right here I'm going to do an IB action. Dash. Open parenthesis. IB action. And then I'm just going to name it random. Colon. And if you didn't know, colon ends, uh, ends every statement. So let me maximize this window. And I'm going to hit command S to save it. And I'm going to go into our actual code. So, let's start with this IB action that we declared in our dot h, h no, dot h. And then we want to do open curly bracket, int all lowercase, image, space equals space, rand. This is the random. And then yeah, we are going to want open and close parentheses after that. And then we want to do space parenthesis and then however many cases you want so for my, in my example I have four pictures so for me it's going to be four so we want a colon and now we want switch this is telling it to image and then right here it actually set it up for us which is awesome it hasn't done that for me before don't know why it's doing it now so uh, where I was gonna want a curly bracket after image in parentheses let me zoom in so as you can see right here, uh, we've got the number, and right here we've got switch image open curly bracket, and then the the cases. This is case zero, and then what we want to happen in case one. I'm gonna have four cases obviously. So uh, we're going to what well, what I declared mine as. I believe I declared mine as block dot image since it is an image space equals space. Open square bracket UI image image named and then we're just going to want to do at quote quotes obviously and then in between there we want to do what we named it and I named a one for mine I named a one PNG two dot PNG three dot PNG and four dot PNG so for this first I'm just going to do one dot PNG and then a square bracket after this. So uh, that closes it off, and now you can see it's, it's, it's in color, so that means it's uh, good. Anyways, we want a colon after that, obviously. And then now, between each one, we want to do break. Okay? Now after this one, we want to do, uh, obviously, case 2, and then a colon. So this is going to be the second case. I'm just going to enter, make it a little neater. Okay. So now we want our thing we declared, which is block, and we need to do each of these for each image, because uh, obviously there are four cases. We have four images, so UI image, image named, and we want to obviously do at quotes again. 
and I named it two dot png colon or end square brackets colon and we do case three colon enter block dot image space equals space open square bracket UI image image named at quotes three dot png or at least that's what I have mine as you obviously have something different most likely and then quote to end it ooh I forgot the breaks in here you guys can't forget those so after every uh, break you or after every case and then what your variable and what it is you want to have a break after all them and then we want to do case four colon enter and this will be the final one for me so block dot image space equals space uh, open square bracket UI image image named at quotes four dot png and quotes and square bracket colon and then we obviously want to do break after that okay so now that we got there we obviously need to end with these curly brackets and it already put them in for me so you guys got to make sure that you have those in or else uh, Xcode will freak out on you so that should be all the code we need now let's go into uh, interface builder and I'll bring out my objects right here so we obviously want a, an image view for our images I don't mind that big alright now that we got our image and uh, we want a button a rounded rect button so you can just drag that in from your objects and I'm just going to center that and then right here we want to click on our on our files owner and then we want to do our connections so the block that I declared is the actual image view so I'm going to connect that with that and then random is the IB action and a button to, uh, activates an action so I'm going to connect that to the button and you want to do touch up inside I'm just going to hit command s and then I forgot to do this in my dot m make sure you do that command s and now I'm going to run okay guys I, I just noticed a mistake right here I actually did 0 2 3 4 so let me just change these back and then hit command s and run and now it's going to link it to the iPhone simulator duh and now when we press this button it gives me a random block every single time now you can see I only have four blocks in here so sometimes it does pick the same block so as you can see it's generating a random block this isn't in order or anything it's give, just giving me a random block and uh, not necessarily a block for you it's gonna be an image I just chose the Minecraft blocks for this because they're all the same size and whatnot okay so now that you see that and that's done I'm gonna show you how to put a label like right under here telling you like which block it is so let me quit this and we obviously need to make another label for that so let's make an IB outlet IB outlet this is in our dot h file uh, so in between the u in between the UI view controller so we want to do IB outlet UI label and then you can name it whatever I'll just name mine label and then colon after that to declare it its end and we don't need to do any more IB actions because this isn't an action so in between in between case and break you're gonna wanna have all your code here so we already have the code for the image let's basically just pull in the image and telling it what image we want it to do so now all we're gonna wanna do is and I named my label so label dot text space equals space at quotes and then we're just gonna name it we're just gonna put in between these two quotes whatever you want so for number one dot png let's see what that is that is cobblestone if you play minecraft so I'm just gonna put cobblestone and then 
We need a colon after that, obviously. That's why X code's freaking out at me. And then right after this, we're gonna obviously put label dot text. This is the same thing as it was for the image one. Label dot text space equals space. And then we're gonna do at quotes and what let's see what image two was. Image two is just regular stone. So stone and then case two, or I forgot the colon again. Let me do label dot text space equals space at quotes. Put a colon there so I don't forget. And then let's see what image three is. I think it's dirt. It is dirt. Dirt. And then in the third or fourth case. We're going to put label dot text space equals space at quotes and then it is I believe grass. Even that even though that is a dirt with grass on top, in Minecraft they call it grass, so these are blocks from Minecraft, I don't know if I said that. Alright, so grass. And now we're just gonna hit command S. And then we're going to go back into our uh, viewcontroller.zib, which is what controls it. This is interface builder built into Xcode. So now, right here, we're going to want to put a label. Pull a label out from your ob objects down below. And you can just delete what it says so it doesn't say anything. And then I'm just going to stretch this out so it doesn't the uh, text doesn't get smaller. Alright, once you do that, you're going to want to click on Files Owner and then click on connections up here and then go from label down to your actual label itself or whatever you named I named mine label so we're just gonna hit command s and then run and this should run and uh, one more thing if you have nothing if you only have one thing declared like a label.txt under only one of your images it will keep it will stay there so as it says right here this is dirt this is cobblestone this is dirt, this is grass, this is stone. So that does work right there. You can obviously put more things in between uh, the case and the break. You could even put like um, unhide image view or unhide web view or you can basically put anything there. That's basically how a randomizer works. Uh, there are a lot of tricky if statements and this is an easier way to do it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, subscribe if you liked it. Uh, subscribe and email me to get the source code. Uh, thank you for watching and goodbye.